What's up, Internet? We are back in the town for another nice night of just relaxation in Animal Crossing. Still trying to adjust to the terrible, terrible realities of Daylight Savings Time and trying to understand why we still have it. Uh, there's a Mario Trophy, but we already have it. There doesn't appear to be anyone new in town. Alright. Well, that means one important thing. We don't have to do much here until we go to the next town. A red check shirt. For when you really, really, really want to look like a picnic blanket. Like, that is the definitive picnic blanket shirt right there. Alright, and we have some hot neon paper. Nice. As opposed to some cool neon paper. Now, first thing we gotta do is figure out if we indeed have completed our gyroid collection, because I think we might have. Because we did get one from our old pal, Wisp. And he only gives you stuff you don't already have. And I'm pretty sure we were close to finishing the gyroid collection, so that might be it. That's, I believe, Mini Sproid. I'm really surprised I remember that off the top of my head. Might very well have been the final gyroid for our collection, which is pretty cool, I have to admit. But, of course, we need to actually see before we can celebrate. Also, really? The mini sproid was the last one we needed. <laughs> that seems a little weird. I don't know, I figured it'd be one of the many, many, many bazillions of, like, sci-fi themed gyroids out there. Okay. So, Rover, how's your evening been? Mine has been hectic, but here we are. Yes, we've met before. We've met countless times. Don't pull any of that have we met before nonsense on me. I don't know. I have to go talk to Tom Nook about maybe completing my gyroid set, because that's kind of a big deal to me. Okay, so let's see about getting us a gyroid set confirmation. Also some lettuce paper and some deep blue teas for the deep blue sea. Actually, that does look like sort of a gradient for the ocean, so that works out kind of nice. We got that. All right. I will attempt to not carouse, but no promises. Oh, before we look at that, I of course have to look and talk to you about the more important thing. Also, that umbrella is also a pattern for a shirt. I'd like to see my catalog, Mr. Nook. No, we're still one short. Ah, so close. We've completed the dinosaurs. We're still missing one paper as well. I think we're missing like three umbrellas. A lot of shirts. I think there's 64 of each of these. And a metric crap ton of those, just because there's a lot of duplicate models that are slightly different. I think I've mentioned this before, but if you want to get all the flower models, or all the train station models, I think you have to have like 15 different towns that all have a different randomly generated train station. It's a bit much, is the short version of that story. Okay, so let's take a look at our fossils for the day. We have one. We have two. And we have three. We have an apatitorso, very nice. A paperweight, 
and a secondary paperweight. Not gonna be a lot of bells out of this one, but still, some is better than none. Alright, well we got 10,000 bells. We can spend that for stuff. Coffee! Eh, I don't think I have this shirt. No, but I don't have it, so I'll buy it. Sure. I mean, these tickets are completely irrelevant for us because, I mean, we won't be playing this at the end of the month. But still, you know, we'll collect them. How exciting is that? Ten days from now, the new one will be out. I just hope that Amazon actually delivers it on time like they said they would. But you know Amazon, they're probably not going to deliver it till a week late, and then I'd be sad. And everyone else would be playing it because they bought digitally. <laughs> Pierce buried something, but we already got it. But we talked peaches. So let's do that. I've been... Actually, yes, I've been playing NES all day, honestly. And now that you're judging me about that, maybe I won't help you. No, I will. But I might bonk you a few times to make you understand that you can't just be judging people because they play a lot of NES. Alright, fine, I won't help you. Fair enough. What's going on with you, Velma? I think you're looking at bugs. I could get you a fish. I'll go get you a fish, no big deal. But of course, first I want to catch that bug in case someone needs one. That's not a bug. There it is. There it is. We got the mole cricket. It hates bright lights because it's a mole and a cricket. Alright, time to go fishing. For things we can fish up. Like fish and also tin cans. I mean, Velma's a goat. Maybe she'd appreciate that as a little gift for her. Alright, we got a dace. Now this dace will go back to Velma, who is hopefully not teleported off into space like she likes to do sometimes. There you go. Well, don't care too much. That's fine. I'll take your lime chair now. Okay. I guess our next place to go will be Tangies. Like we like to go. Hey, Goldie's here. We can ask two people for help at once. Aw, oh, I don't plan for it like that. It just sort of happens that way. Hey, Goldie. I can't help you with a flower garden problem. I'm using all the flowers for my my super garden project, so I'm sorry. I must politely decline your quest. If you wish to find another source of flowers so that I can do that, I'd be happy to, but I would also probably use those for my garden as well. Go to Tangy's and get a handkerchief back. Alright, let's do it. Tangy is very conveniently still here. No, I don't want to fish, I want to talk to Tangy. Or Tangy, however you pronounce that. I don't think that he would. No, I genuinely can't believe it. I think you're just trying to pass your problems on and make me try and sympathize with you when that's really not what happened. I kind of like the lighting at this time of day. Like, there's a nice little shadow on everything, it's still bright. It's a nice shadowy effect. 
cube. Let's talk handkerchiefs and how you're gonna give me one. I lent it to Ace. Of course you did. Okay. Well, nothing to do but go talk to Ace, I guess. Get rid of that. Let's see if our friend Gulliver's in town today. And by in town, I mean risking drowning on the beach because he's unconscious. It's possible. But it does not seem to be the case. Ace. I need a handkerchief. Thank you. How, how exactly did they know it was Chow's? Like, seriously, he borrowed it from Q. And he borrowed it from Tangy. So, I don't think at any point did anyone ever actually mention Chow in the mix. Maybe it's implied that we brought up Chow and said, hey, that's Chow's, give it back. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. I will take an outfit. And that means it's not stretched out to panda proportions. A chichi print. That's the, like, melon print looking thing. Not my style, though. It's not a cool shirt. What can I say? Okay. So. I guess our next person to talk to would be Cube. No, don't run away, Cube. I need to know if you have quests. Sorry. I'm just trying to get through your dialogue quickly. Oh, well, that's an anti-climax if I'll ever see one. Talk to a guy three times, making mistakes, and then when I actually get to talk to him, he tells me no. Disappointment. Okay, well, our next person to talk to would, I guess, be Spike, because he's slightly closer. Nope, nothing for Spike. That's okay. There's always Ace we can talk to. Good old Ace. He never lets us down. You've let me down, Ace. Ooh, I think I can dig up. I almost didn't see that. I blame the very pretty lighting. Okay. No, Gulliver. Well, can't be helped. All right, so our next person to talk to would probably be Quetzal if he's around, which he's clearly not. So unless he's here, or perhaps up and over here, which he's not, I don't know where he could be. Nope, no idea. Cookie it is. Cookie! You have nothing for me. Well, we can always rely on Pierce. He really likes wearing orange. His original shirt's orange, too. Not a big fan of the color orange, honestly. A ball? I have not seen a ball around, but I can look if that would make you feel a little bit better. You know what? I have seen a ball around. Now we just gotta be really careful not to kick it into the water. And we're good. Hey, Pierce. Got a ball for you. Buddy, where are you? I don't want to kick this off the ledge. Oh, you're right next to the ledge, of course. There we go. Ball quest completed. And now he doesn't want it anymore.
No, not really. I played it for years and I hated every moment of it. A sweet stone wall. Is it made of cotton candy? Do these snozberries on it taste, in fact, like snozberries? Because if they don't, then this sweet wallpaper is, in fact... Ooh, we can talk to Caesar. A disappointment. Do you need something? Preferably something not involving Quetzal, because I don't know where he is. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Well, time to go buy some flowers, I guess. I would like to sell some stuff. Like this and this and this and this and this. And you won't pay for it, but you can take that because I don't need it. And that. Not even a thousand bells. Disappointed. But not surprised. I'll take this. And I shall take some pink cosmos. And I shall take some yellow pansies. And some tulips. And some pansies again. Alright. Now we just gotta get back home and work on our garden a little bit. Okay. And off we go, back home to work on our awesome super garden, like we like to do. I will have a nice trip. Thank you, Porter. Hey, Rover! I think it's pretty believable, honestly, but such is life. Alright, it was okay. Maybe not great, but it was okay. Gotta go plant some flowers. Have a nice old day. Nice little bit of relaxation time. Alright. Gotta go over here. Through all the flowers we got. Just a lot of flowers, mind you, but still. There could always be more. More flowers. Alright, and this is all done, so I guess we're moving on to this acre. Or at least, you know, this side of the river of this acre. Maybe plant that there. Let's see if Gulliver's around since we're here. Might as well. 
as we get rid of this. Will there be a Gulliver today? It does not look it. Not here, anyway. But of course, there's always another chunk of land we can go take a look at and see if our friend Gulliver's around. And we will, because we must. Let us not completely destroy the flowers. Throw that away. Throw that away. Where is Gulliver? Is he here? Is he safe? Is he slowly drowning on the beach? No, he is safe for now. Unless he's just drifting out in the water, in which case, you know, he's probably not safe. I hope he makes it to land soon. Anything going on, Copper? Ah, Sahara. But she hasn't arrived. It's been suspicious. It gets his hackles up, whatever that means. Okay. Well, I guess we've done that. Kind of done everything we need to today. I guess we'll just tiptoe across the bridge. Tippity toe over to the house, and we'll call it a day. But I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, plus other stuff when I have the time, and Mario earlier in the evening. You also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over a thousand videos waiting just for you. Tons of things, not just Mario and Animal Crossing. Although, admittedly, there, there's quite a few of those out there, just because they're faster to make than my reviews and everything else. But there's tons of awesome stuff involving a lot of games you might not be aware of that you probably should be. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability. Which in this case is not find Quetzal, get annoyed at how everyone seems to know that something belongs to Chow, but no one will actually deliver it to him, and yet still somehow manage to get a ball where it needs to be for once. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.